Today's video topic is spinal and bulbar muscular atrophy. Spinal and bulbar muscular atrophy, or SBMA, is a rare genetic disorder that affects the muscles used for speaking, swallowing, and breathing. It is also known as Kennedy's disease, named after the physician who first described it in 1968. It is a progressive condition, which means that the symptoms get worse over time. The average age of onset is between 30 and 50 years old. Causes of Spinal and Bulbar Muscular Atrophy The primary cause of spinal and bulbar muscular atrophy is a genetic mutation. This mutation leads to the production of a toxic protein that gradually destroys the nerve cells responsible for controlling the muscles. The result is muscle weakness, wasting, and twitching, which can eventually lead to difficulty speaking, swallowing, and breathing. Symptoms of Spinal and Bulbar Muscular Atrophy The most common symptoms of SBMA include muscle weakness, wasting, and twitching. The weakness is usually noticeable in the muscles of the face, neck, arms, and legs, and can eventually lead to difficulty speaking, swallowing, and breathing. Diagnosis of Spinal and Bulbar Muscular Atrophy Diagnosis of SBMA is made by a combination of a medical history, physical examination, and genetic testing. A thorough medical history and physical examination, including a review of symptoms and family history, are essential in making a diagnosis. Electromyography, EMG, can also be used to confirm the presence of muscle weakness. But the definitive diagnosis of SBMA can be made through genetic testing, which can detect the genetic mutation. Treatment of Spinal and Bulbar Muscular Atrophy Unfortunately, there is no cure for SBMA. However, there are a number of treatments that can help manage the symptoms and slow the progression of the disease. These include physical therapy, speech therapy, respiratory therapy, medications, and assistive technology. Physical therapy involves regular exercises to maintain muscle strength and mobility. This may also include the use of assistive devices such as braces, canes, and wheelchairs. Speech therapy is recommended if speaking or swallowing becomes difficult, as it can help improve communication skills and prevent choking and other complications related to swallowing. Respiratory therapy is necessary if breathing becomes a concern, as it can help manage symptoms and prevent respiratory failure. Although there are no specific medications that can cure SBMA, some medications can help manage symptoms. For example, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs can help reduce muscle pain and inflammation. Assistive technology, such as voice amplifiers and computer-based communication systems, can also help improve the quality of life for those with SBMA by improving communication skills. In addition to these treatments, it is important to maintain a healthy lifestyle and diet and get enough sleep. It is important for individuals with SBMA to seek support from family and friends and connect with others affected by the disease. Support groups, online forums, and patient organizations can provide valuable information, resources, and a sense of community. With the right care and support, individuals with SBMA can live meaningful and fulfilling lives. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.